<laughs> we set off for the initial kickoff. Washington lost a toss in deferred. I mean, uh, Atoka won in deferred. Kickoff goes to Cage Morris, who has a kickoff return for a touchdown to his name on this season, but he is tripped up. You know, you're not going to throw the throw the ball a whole lot tonight. They do hand it off to Cole Scott, and he jumps over a blocker, but then gets stood up around the 35-yard line. Warriors are moving fast, though, as Cantrell gets in the line of scrimmage and says Nate Roberts in motion. Handoff goes to Cole Scott to the left side, and he tries to cut back, loses his footing, but is able to. Cantrell tried to get the Wampus Cats to jump off sides, takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Looking to find a defender. There's going to be a pass interference play. It looks like it's Cantrell. Skips across the defender and down the 50. Bubbles the ball. And oh, yeah, ref stays down past the 50-yard line to the 49. That'll give the Warriors a first down at the 50-yard line with Cantrell's run as he hands it off to Cole Scott. He's patient as he works the left side. Five-yard gain. Bring up second down and five. Four touchdowns on six of those carries. Another handoff to Scott as he bounces off a defender. Makes another guy miss and is inside the 40 for a Warrior first down. Cage Morris goes in most and then twirls to the left. And now they're running the option with Morris. Cantrell fakes the handoff and is stood up at the 35-yard line and finally brought down. Good hard running by the quarterback. Try to get a first down here. Maybe at least cut this in half. They're going to pass it. There is a penalty on the play. It looks like a man was not set as Singletary catches the pass. Nope, they were offside. See? Be at the 30-yard line. Oh, there's some miss. <laughs> that does not play, but Major Cantrell makes something out of nothing and gets it down to the 20-yard line. 48 to go in the first quarter as the Warriors with two receivers and Cantrell Breaks a tackle on the RPO and keeps running hard inside to steal the game on that touchdown. As the Warriors have first down and 10. And off goes to Cole Scott right up the middle. He's running hard and is knocked down right near the goal line by number one. It's a little hot up <laughs> no, here. It's a little no. hot up here, Kyle. No. Oh, listen, listen to him down there. <laughs> first and goal. The handoff goes to Cole Scott. And he is in for a touchdown. Mason Thomas kicking off, and he's able to pooch kick that to about the 15-yard line. Good coverage there by the Warriors. Atoka, 26-yard line. The Wampscats come out in the right formation, pitch it to the running back, and he is stood up by Keller Howard. Now in the shotgun formation as they send a man in motion. Fumble on the play. Ball is loose, and look who's there. Got it. Cole Miller on the play. There you go. Seems to be around the ball all the time. There hadn't been a whole lot of fumbles. There's the only times it's been, is, it seemed like, on the kickoff. If we re return there, as Major Cantrell looks deep. Then Mason Singletary for a touchdown. Warriors strike quickly. All right there. Make the handoff and look over the middle. Nate Roberts is wide open on that two-point conversion attempt as he's able to get off the line. And feel where snow is starting to accumulate. And Mason Thomas puts a good leg on it as he backs the receiver down to the 10-yard line. And again, the Warrior special teams led by Keller Howard is able to keep the Wampus Cats inside the 25-yard line. Drew McCall at running back. And they pitch it to him, and he <laughs> gets split up in number. We gotta take another look at that. I don't know who got him. On. That'll bring up second down and ten. There's the quarterback, Peyton Pugh, keeps it. Oh my goodness, there is nobody around here. He's loose. He's at the 45, 40. Let's see if Marlon Moore can push him out of bounds, and he does. That is number ten, Jace Jackson. And he looks like he's going to run it again. And He looked a little tired after that run, Kyle. Yeah. Oh, he had his hands on his hips. Well, they were kind of a wildcat set there. Yeah, formation. They got Jace back there again, and they send Hill in motion, and Jace is going to keep it. 
Tries to cut it back again, but Nathan Spaulding. Yeah, he don't want to run that. He's yeah. tired. Yeah. He is tired. Well, now they bring 15. Peyton Pugh back at quarterback. He rolls out to the right, and he's being pressured by Keller Howard, and he is sacked. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. Pugh takes the snap, looks left, throws it high up in the air. There is no receiver there, and it is intercepted by Jackson Hendricks. He's back this week, and he is tackled by or tackled near the 10-yard line. Yeah, they come in. This is a good running play or possibility here as they have a light box, and they do run it with Cole Scott, but unable to get off some blocks. And Somebody's going to get free right here. Now the Wampus Cats in a cover one look, and they do hand it off to uh, running back. That looks like Hudson Howard. He breaks the tackle. He's at the 40. He's at the 50. Cuts back to the left. He's still on his feet, and he is pushed out of bounds. I don't see a whistle. Keep running, young man. Second down and 13 for Washington. Cantrell looks to throw and hits Singletary on the out route, and he is stood up by, looks like, number 18. Was up 14 to nothing. Cantrell fakes the handoff. Looks to roll left. Now just pitches out to the right side. And what a catch. Is he, he catch it? That is a catch by Mr. Cage Morris. Good job by the receiver helping his quarterback right out. There. Washington. And off goes to Cole Scott. He just falls behind his offensive line. Breaks a tackle and now he's in. Yeah. Touchdown, Warriors. We have to see that on replay. 22-yard touchdown run. How did he get through there? Here. And there's the leg we're used to seeing as that goes up and through the upright. Warriors next opponent. Yeah, that's a big kind of a Jekyll and Hyde team as Mason Thomas put a little, kicks put it a under little the sauce on that yeah. one. Side spins. Tanner Olson's there, and he's able to hit the guy first. And finally, the Warriors special teams unit has the Wampus Cats pinned inside the 10 yard line. Maybe pulling off the upset of the year, Roy says uh, Jackson takes the direct snap and tries to run to the right side. That would be a that'd be huge. 28 big upset. Points. Yeah. I'm getting all the defensive calls <laughs> as the handoff goes to McCall and ball. he is brought loose. Ooh, I thought ball came out there. He's got third and long. And Pugh looks to throw it, throws it out to the slot receiver, and he makes the guy miss. That is number 24. Down as the punter is lined up on his own goal line. Nice punt. The Warriors don't have anybody back. It checks up at the 45 yard line and takes a Warrior bounce. It looks like it's going to be stopped at the 45. Action here as they have Cade Norman making his first appearance in a long time, and he takes the jet sweep, and he's able to push the ball past the first down marker, an 11-yard gain. He's got a lot of formations he can go in, man. He's a, he's a player. Cantrell looking to throw. Looks left, now he's throws got right. It. Got a man wide open. It's Mason Singletary. Touchdown! Yeah. The right side and hit. Singletary for his second touchdown of the night as Major, Mason Thomas kicks in the extra point attempt. Welcome back to Reed Field as Mason Thomas kicks it deep to McCall for Atoka and he tries to take it up the middle. Three touchdowns, we've got two on the night as some misdirection action by the Wampus Cats. Man, you got him and Spalding out there, man. This defense is something to see. Big run there by the Wampus Cats. That is number 20. High formation as Pew hands it off up the middle. Looks like Cheryl Nothing on the there. play there. Pew hands it off. Good hard running there. Literally, right? <laughs> Pugh hands it off. Number 20, the Warrior defense. Stops stop him in right the middle. There. Who is that? Hendricks, Spalding. 7.52 go in the half as they send Cade Norman in motion. Fake the handoff. Look to throw deep. They hit nice catch by Nate Roberts as he gets spun up by uh, number 10, Jace Jackson. Near the line of scrimmage as Cantrell fakes the handoff. Has a man open over the seam. It is Cooper. That's intercepted by Mr. McCall. And he trips over the turf. Q under center as the Toka comes in the I formation. 
and good hard running there. Motion by Al uh, McCall, and Warriors are not fooled as they try to hand it off to their defense to catch up with them. Brucey hit him in the backfield, just couldn't get him down. That looks like Marlon Moore and Tanner Olson. Great job of them catching up because, like you said, God, I thought it was gone. Nation. Warriors loading up the box as they pitch it to McCall, and looks like Kane Lampkin is there to make the tackle along with the Warriors. Looking to fill that position once those kids graduate. Adding depth to this Warrior defense as the handoff goes off to number 20. And that is Mr. Allen, Sean Allen, when these playoffs roll around. Few takes the snap, hands it off to McCall, and good hard running there by the senior running back. Tap as the Wampus Cats have fourth down and three. Line up in the eye formation. They fake the handoff. They thrust it up to number 24. And did he catch it? And he did. That was a great catch there. Extra point attempt. Good snap. Kick is up and it's good. Nice leg there by Mr. Higgins. And uh, that's three minutes to go in the second quarter. Higgins with the kickoff, and it goes to uh, Cage Morris again. And Cage is trying to stretch it out here to the left side of the field, and he is brought down about the 39-yard line. Warriors with two receivers to the right and single receiver to the left, and they do hand it off to Cole Scott running to the right, and, and the defense is able to get off, excuse me, their blocks. The seven-yard line. They have off offside right here Howard. on the Cats. And Howard, like a Howard pinball in the backfield, that will take it to the 40-yard line at the 42-yard line. Cantrell takes a snap, looking to throw. Now getting pressured, and he is tackled. Tackle in the backfield by number five. McCall. Cowboys are going after him. Another small school. Malcolm Rodriguez, this player, as Cantrell has plenty of time to throw. Now looks to run up the middle, trying to make a man miss. Does make a man Oh, no. Woo, that looks scary, Lost Kyle. Footing. That well, looks scary. He just down. slipped. <laughs> first down and 10 as Cantrell takes a step back. They got a little screenplay action here from Mr. Howard. Howard had some blockers and was able to pick up some pretty good yardage on that. Now they're winding the clock up. And so Cantrell looking to go fast now and throws it hard towards Cage Morris. Got Howard to the left of Cantrell. A Hand it off to Hudson Howard. He cuts it back to the left and finally tackled by, as the Warriors have, fourth and short. And they hand it off to Cole Scott up the middle. And he is able to get past the 10-yard line. We have a trips to the right. And the handoff is, oh, it's faked. And Mason Singletary looking to go to get his third touchdown. Is he able to get pushed? He's got a scrum now. And let's see if the Warriors are able to push him through. And he is... Are they going to call him dead? They blew it dead short. Yeah, they're going to have to call was, a timeout. As long as no one gets tackled in the backfield, Cantrell looks to throw the quick slant to Mr. Cooper Alexander, and that is a touchdown for the Warriors. Kick off for the Warriors. Line drive kick is taken by number one, Talon Barrett. And he is set up on the line, of, excuse me, on the sideline and chip in football. That's going to be kicking off pretty soon as well as Tanner Olson with the pooch kick. Checks up at the 32-yard line and nice little change of direction there. 21 right now against Toronto as the Wampus Cats take the field in the eye formation. Pitch it out to like number 11. Oh, it's, you know, you look at their line of scrimmage guys they're guys in the trenches there you do not have the same size as Spalding comes and hits the quarterback as he throws and is thrown up and is broken up by a host of warrior defenders showing pressure up the middle is Berglin he misses the guy in the backfield but the rest of his teammates are there to make up for it as the Wampus guys try to trick the Warriors on a handoff going trip set down here at the bottom yeah. a new formation as they pull the 
uh, left tackle, it looks like, and Cole Scott is running to the right, and he is tackled by Hill. Two sides, two tight ends set. Handoff goes to Cole Scott up the middle, and he is wrapped up by Cheryl. Luther, six. Fourth down play here as Singletary goes in motion, and Cantrell rolls to the right, now throws it to the right. Got a man open. It is Cooper Alexander, and he is in for the touchdown. Snap is down and kick is up, and it is through. 8.36 to go in the third quarter. Warriors lead 41 to 7. Back to Reed Field. TJ Schultz here with Kyle Harrison and Stuart McPherson as Tanner Olson puts a strong leg into that one, drives it down to the 25 yard line. That's McCall on the recovery. <laughs> he tries to drop kick his way to the 40 yard line. <laughs> a 4 3 alignment. And it looks like Jace Jackson is looking to run to the right side, and the Warriors are able to swarm. And a half, four, five defenders there. Put some hands on them. Pugh pitches it. Looks like this time it's to Barrett, and Barrett tries to reverse field as Spalding is chasing after him, and there's Milner. See, you're going to have a hold right here. Pugh under center. Pitches it out to Hill. Good job. And Hill. again, the punt from his 27-yard line. Takes the snap. Acts like he's going to punt. Now finally does punt. That looks like me in the backyard, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Plays last week against Little Axe. They hand it off up the middle. Cole Scott. And now the, ball's the ball loose. came out. We'll see. Save the road. Every year for these running backs from Washington. And there's a big run there by Cole Scott. He breaks loose. He's at the 40. Goal head is being touchdown saving tackle there by Barrett. Fine. Send Norman in motion. Now they're running the option. Pitch it to Norman to the left side, a little bit behind him, and he's able to break a couple of tackles before getting back to the original line of scrimmage. Afraid to put the hit on people. You can see why he's got some high level college interest, but Cole Scott's able to break a tackle off of him. Good there. Good block there by Jordan Vanya. Cantrell looks left, double pumps, then throws back to Singletary. And he runs over a defender. Faye got him on the comeback. and Big pickup right there for the Warriors. Thomas on the jet sweep. He's got Brucey. He kind of outran his blocker with Brucey. Brucey trying to get to the outside to provide some. The 30 to go in the third quarter. They lead 41 to 7. Cantrell. Takes a deep step. Now he's running to the right. He's got a little bit of room to run. Throws it over the middle. It looks like he got a man open. It is Nate Roberts. Touchdown, Warriors. Nate Roberts. It's pretty good for anybody, but he's able to get his ninth touchdown on the season as Mason Thomas, or excuse me, Tatum, Tatum Wilk. Tatum Wilk kicks it in for the extra point. 34, crossings 29, a minute to go in the third. Wow. Chandler 48, Hennessy 8. CCS 49-14 over Holdenville. Lindsay 35-7 over Kingston. Lindsay 35-7. We heard it on the coach show as where your special teams able to. And so far this evening, it looks like it's holding true. As Pugh takes the snap under center. Handoff goes to number 20. Oh, Allen. balls out. Balls out. We got a. I guess Milner. That? Is that Milner or Kilmer? I think it's Milner. Minute 27 to go in the third quarter. We'll just have the ball at the 27-yard line. As Brakefield takes the snap, hands it off to Wyatt Wilk. Wyatt Working that left side of the field. Jones 21, Newkirk 20. Brakefield pulls the snap. Now he's being drugged down and slung down by McCall. Okay. And so uh, they've definitely been holding their own. So at the super scrimmage, I didn't. I did a little tease on that. Why don't you uh, tell the fans what teams that you guys played? I did say that we, we played Jones, which is the back-to-back -back state championships. As the Warriors are able to pick up some yardage on that play with Kale Brakefield, the ladies this year graduated some. They graduated some players, and um, still a young team. 
coming back from last year's squad, and also this is your first year coaching girls basketball. So sorry to disappoint you. With no, that, that's that a, I understand. I've I've always wondered my, myself coaching boys basketball and what that would look like. I coached some junior high girls basketball back in the day, but um, they seem to tend to listen a little bit better <laughs> than guys because they don't. Guys, I feel like guys think they know more than the little state championship game is from that one Omega. Of the, is that one of the phantom calls, <laughs> the foul calls they called? I don't, I'm not sure. The Warriors defense is making a big stand here. Obviously, Anna Darko is a program that has had traditional success now. I'd like to end this with a little story that I have from Coach's Clinic with you. Uh-oh. Okay, so we got 34-28 bags as I got an updated score from uh, one of our fans listening or watching the game as uh, Blake Heiliger is able to have a nice run. Uh, for the Warriors, and now the Hold Warriors, that ball. Ben Johnson, and looks like uh, they get a number 51. They're going we'll, we'll to get Rejoice or Beggs to be a Squirtle team so we could watch that game as Blake Hollywood takes another handoff, and he's pushing the pile forward again. Good job by the offensive line here. Beggs threw a pick on the screen. They ran it back for a touchdown. Hmm. Hollywood again with the run. Harris earlier in the year by Rejoice, they – he was saying they Rejoice could just put whatever number they wanted as Heiliger runs a man over on the left side. And now, oh, there we go. It's on YouTube. Varsity football, Rejoice first begs. Is, uh, thanks to Tony Gay sending that to us. 40 to 28. Dawson Thomas tries to get to the outside and is unable to, uh, which is crazy because Eufaula is struggling with Henrietta. And you follow one that district as Lucas Witcher takes the snap. See if he gets a favorable spot, and he does. It's going to be a Warrior first down. That was 40-42? 40-28. Oh, 40-28. Okay. No. It's cold down here. I'm <laughs> Lucas Witcher breaks a couple tackles in the backfield and picks up some good yards inside the final. That was the final, yeah, 12-6. Okay. So it looks like all of District 2A3 going to yep. end up with victories, representing well as Blake Heiliger runs over some defenders in for the touchdown. Yeah. Lead 54 to 7 as Tanner Olson lines up the kick. Doka takes it over in the left and oh, he is railed down by the Warrior defender. Yeah, you don't. Doka. Lines up in the eye formation and hands it off to the fullback. And he is met right at the oh. line of scrimmage. And the Warriors are still 27 seconds left. This could be the last play. And they try to run it up the middle. And the it's Warriors tough. stop him there. And the <laughs> they're all pretty excited. And it looks like the coaches are saying, let's get to the midfield line. And that's what they do. Warriors take care of business here at Reed Field, Kyle. 54-7. to seven. Yeah, as he said about the same, you think you're coming into the game, it's going to be your one seed, number one ranked team in the state. But as you've seen through scores throughout the night, it's not guaranteed, but the Warriors took care of business and did what they are supposed to do. Yeah, you got to like Warriors' impressive win tonight, TJ. I talked about all stats, all records out the, out the window, you know, coming into this game. And this is one of them games that you got to be perfect. I figure, I, f I feel like the Warriors came in tonight and uh, had a good game plan. Established the line of the scrimmage well, ran the ball, uh, not a lot of penalties. Very clean game for the Warriors tonight. And uh, big win for the Warriors rolling into for week two of the playoffs here, TJ. Yes, sir. And, Stuart, they, they did what they were supposed to do. And you could tell that there was just a little bit of different uh, level of intensity uh, in the play of the Washington Warriors on both sides of the ball.